If you think that winning the ACC three times in the last five years is impressive, regular season, and you think winning the conference tournament championship of the ACC twice in the last five years is impressive, and this same team is returning their backcourt and returning the majority of their scoring from a team that entered the NCAA tournament last year as the number one overall team, 31-3, and 17-1, and one. then you have to put Virginia Cavaliers in your top five, and I am putting them number four. I'm buying the Tony Bennett Redemption Tour. I am allotting for the fact that they had a tough loss, which again is not much worse than the Michigan State losses or, or the Kansas losses years ago and the Duke loss as well. It's not. But I am going to take a little bit off, and I won't put them number one. I won't even put them number two or number three. The Tony Bennett Redemption Tour is coming, Gus. And right now, you put a gun in my head, they're making the Final Four this year. Yes, I believe that. So I have them number four. When I've tried to figure out who I'm going to put into my Final Four, the notes that I take in the notebook, the first line is always UVA. So I'm right with you on the Tony Bennett Redemption Tour. And I think that they're going to end up in Minnesota by hook or by crook. I think the one thing that to pay attention to is the tempo number. Can they just get slightly more up-tempo and give his talented players that he has returning a few more offensive opportunities and trust them to freelance a bit more on the pick and roll instead of, I don't know, staging every possession and, and, and juicing the shot clock. So maybe put some trust in the guys that he has returning. I bet Tony Bennett makes that tweak, and I think that tempo number is the number to pay attention to.